Hi everyone, my name is Sydney and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I like to bathe my Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. I have a little Slater here getting ready to take his bath and if you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I make videos every single Monday and that definitely helps out me and Slater in the long run. So the first thing I like to do before I give Slater a bath is obviously, you know, make sure that he goes out and uses the bathroom. And then once he's actually in the tub, I like to make sure that the water is not too hot, not too cold, and that the pressure is on low because I don't want the pressure to be too strong on him. And then just cover him up with some water. That way it's easy to lather with the shampoo and the conditioner that we're going to be using. I don't like to put his head underneath the water head just so that way, you know, it doesn't freak him out. <laughs> I love the Isle of the Dog Tearless Puppy Shampoo. This was actually recommended to me from my breeder. I simply just put it in my hand, lather it all up, and just completely cover him in this shampoo. I love the shampoo because it's tearless, especially for puppies, so it's very gentle on their skin and their coat, and it makes them smell really, really good. Make sure that you get the ears and all that good stuff. I have a toothbrush right here because Slater has really bad tear stains on his eyes just from head changes and teething. So I simply get a soft toothbrush and I just clean his face like this. I make sure I go really gently so that way he doesn't freak out and he seems to be tolerating it really well. Now I'm just going to simply rinse him off. On his face, make sure his face is nice and clean. Obviously use your fingers just to simply wash their face. The next item I'm gonna be using is the Owl of the Dog Oatmeal Conditioner. I really enjoy this conditioner because it smells so good and it makes his coat so soft. Now, when they're a puppy, you don't necessarily have to use a conditioner, but now that Slater is past six months old, I felt the need to start you know, using conditioner in his bathing routine because it makes his coat so soft. I absolutely love this conditioner. And it's very gentle on him as well. Just gonna lather it all over his body. Make sure you get the tail, make sure you get the paws, and all that good stuff. And I normally like to let the conditioner sit in for about five minutes or so, just so you know, you can really get all that conditioning going on. And then you're just gonna simply rinse them off. Just make sure all the conditioner is out and all that good stuff. Go over his coat a few times. Since I have the pressure on low, it takes me a little longer to do this process, but totally fine because I know that the pressure isn't bothering him. Slater has been doing really well with baths so far. He's never really given me a hard time, but Slater doesn't seem to mind baths, so I'm really happy about that. He's a good boy, wherever I place him, he stays. And oh, shaking a little bit. <laughs> so yeah. Next, you're just gonna take a towel and just try to pat him dry as much as you can. We're actually gonna be blow drying him out with a blow dryer, but I like to take a towel first and try to get any dripping water off of him. He'll probably shake a few times, but yeah. You might wanna change out your towel I know I use two separate towels when I'm drying Slater. So now that I took him out of the bathtub, wrapped him up in the towel, and now I'm about to blow dry him out. So now I have another towel right here on the floor because Slater loves to brush himself against it. And I'm just gonna take this brush right here and brush him out. I forgot the name of the brush, but I will link the brush down below. You also wanna make sure that, you know, the air temperature in your house is good as well. I always like to make sure that it's not too cool or not too hot in the house whenever I'm bathing him, just so that way the air temperature won't affect him. Just gonna take a hair dryer. I just have like a regular culinary hair dryer. 
and just simply blow dry them out. Now you wanna make sure that the pressure isn't too high because the loud noise will probably freak out your dog. However, I don't like to keep the pressure on super high. I like to keep it on low and as far as heat, you don't wanna keep it on high heat. You wanna keep it on a super low heat. What I like to do is that I alternate the settings from cool to warm and just alternate all throughout. Now, I actually started blow drying Slater out at a young age, so he's actually gotten used to it before because in the beginning stages, he would fight me a lot on using the blow dryer. He, he used to hate the blow dryer, but as you can see, he's starting to tolerate it a lot more and I usually feed him treats while he's getting blow dried so that way he can associate being blow dried with good things. And I just brush him out and I blow dry him and all that good stuff. I normally like to start with his body first because believe it or not, his body actually doesn't take that long to blow dry out because he doesn't have that much hair yet and his coat is still growing in. The longest part of the blow drying process is actually his ears. His ears take forever to blow dry out. And this is because you wanna make sure that their ears are 100% dry because you wanna make sure that there's no moisture being trapped in your dog's ears because moisture being trapped in your dog's ears will lead to ear infections and we don't want that. So Slater's just kind of relaxing here while I blow dry out his ears. Make sure you get the inside and the outside of the ears, so that way it's nice and dry. So the reason why I'm not blow drying Slater out on my dog table is because I'm trying to get him used to the blow dryer 100% as well as being groomed. The first time I tried grooming Slater on my table. He kind of freaked out a little bit. The table and the blow drying and everything else was kind of overwhelming to him. So I'm gradually getting him used to the process of being groomed. Um, and then once he completely gets the hang of the blow dryer and the brush, then I'm gonna slowly start to graduate him to being groomed on the table. It's all about baby steps. Make sure you get those ears really, really good. <laughs> I can't emphasize this enough, but you want, really want to make sure they're dry, like super dry and fluffy and beautiful, as that's the trait of the breed. You want to make sure that they have long, beautiful, fluffy ears. So right here, I've taken a cotton pad and I'm gonna be using this cotton pad to clean out the inside of Slater's ears. I just like to make sure that they're nice and clean and that there aren't any little black hairs in them. Normally when they're this young, they're not gonna have tiny little black hairs in their ears and those tiny little black hairs actually cause ear infections. But I just like to make him, you know, get used to me going in his ears just so when he does have the little black hairs, we're gonna have to pluck them out. But I just take the cotton pad and simply clean out his ears to make sure there's no gunk in them and that they're totally dry. So that way we can prevent those ear infections as much as possible. Here, I'm just doing a little bit of more brushing just to make sure that, you know, he's all brushed out, looking fluffy, beautiful. So the next step, what I'm gonna be doing in this process is cutting his nails. I actually got this nail cutter as a gift from my mom, so I have no idea where she got the nail cutter from. However, I'm pretty sure you can find a whole variety of nail cutters from Amazon, Chewy, Petco, and all that good stuff. Just read the reviews to see what people thought of the product. Slater so doesn't mind getting his nails cut at all, because when I first started training Slater into getting his nails cut, I would always give him treats because, you know, it can be a little bit intimidating. You know, we have like this sharp object in your hand and like you're fooling around with their paws and they're like, hey, what are you doing? So luckily Slater doesn't mind getting his nails cut at all. Just make sure you wanna give, you know, treats so that way he can associate with getting his nails cut with good things. Another thing too that I did a lot when I first got Slayer when he was 12 weeks old was I would lay him on my lap and I would play with his paws. So that way he gets used to the concept of his paws being touched. So that way when he gets his nails cut, he won't freak out. He's actually falling asleep getting his nails cut. <laughs> that just shows you how comfortable that he's gotten with the whole concept of nail cutting.
Right here I have a slicker brush. I got this off of Amazon. And even though Slater's coat isn't that long yet to be using a slicker brush, I just very, very gently brush him out with the slicker brush. And this is so that way when his coat gets longer, he will be used to the slicker brush and he won't get freaked out. So right here I have the ice on ice. I got this at Amazon as well. This is a leave-in conditioner and all this really does is give a little bit of extra shine to your dog's coat. Totally bougie step, totally optional. You don't have to do it. I just like to do it because Slayer is bougie and as am I. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is just make sure that it's totally dry and yeah, just go over with the blow dryer a little bit more just to make sure that the ice on ice is totally dried into his coat and all that good stuff. If I'm gonna give him another little treat here so that way he can associate the whole process with good things. Next, the final step of course, we're gonna be putting on that dog collar. I have this beautiful dog collar that my mom got me. It's pearls and I'm obsessed. So here we have it, Slater is fully groomed. He looks fluffy, clean, and gorgeous. <laughs> He's so tired though. This whole grooming process always exhausts him. And yeah, I guess that concludes this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to leave it a thumbs up and to subscribe. I make new videos every single Monday. And yeah, thank you for watching. See you guys next time.